Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. About a month ago, I posted a video that if you were still using Windows 10 version 21H1, I gave you a heads up and a reminder that the operating system will reach its end of support on the 13th of December this year. Now, just a quick reminder once again, and in case you maybe were unaware, that the 13th has come and gone in my region. That was yesterday in my region. And um, this was the last Patch Tuesday and um, that Windows 10 21H1 will receive any security and quality updates. So meaning that means that from the 14th onwards, um, you will be unsupported and the operating system will have reached its end of life. Now, um, at the get-go, um, you will not notice too much difference in your operating system, even though it is unsupported, as many of you may well know. Um, because you have just received a security update, you should be good for the next month or two with security. Your apps should run fine, but as you leave it longer, if you haven't been upgraded already automatically by Microsoft, if you don't upgrade to a newer version of Windows 10, um, over the next couple of months, you may start running into security issues. Uh, where your operating system may be vulnerable to threat and attack. And also, because you won't be getting any quality updates, um, you may find over the next couple of months, the longer you leave it, your operating system may become glitchy and unstable in um, regarding certain aspects of the operating system. Now, different ways um, you can obviously upgrade to Windows uh, 10 version 21H2, which, by the way, remains supported until next year, 2023. In, that's the 13th of June next year, 2023. Or upgrade to version uh, 22H2 is um, over on your Windows Update page. If Microsoft hasn't upgraded you automatically already, you will see an optional feature update on your Windows Update page to upgrade to a newer version of Windows 10. Or if your device meets these system requirements, to update to Windows 11. Now, if you are not ready to take the plunge um, to Windows 11 as yet, um, then there is not much difference between Windows 10 version 21H1, which was the May 2021 feature update, um, and version 22H2 as an example, which was the October-November 2022 feature update. There's not much difference. Most of the changes take place under the hood, and bar maybe one or two small user interface tweaks, and the operating systems will more or less be exactly the same. And another way you can upgrade to Windows 10 22H2, which is the latest stable release, is to head over to the download Windows 10 page, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And I would suggest using the Update Assistant. It's the easiest option um, and the next best after upgrading through Windows Update um, just to use the Update Assistant, or you can also use the Media Creation Tool, but I would suggest using the Update Assistant as a good plan B. So just another friendly reminder, as mentioned, that Windows 10 version 21H1 is now um, no longer supported and, and has reached its end of life starting the 13th of December, which was yesterday in my region. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.